thanks for coming back to my channel. So today's video I'm actually kind of excited about. I was going to do like a holiday tutorial but that didn't really go too well for me. I tried like a couple different looks and I just wasn't feeling it. So instead of doing a tutorial I wanted to do my top or my favorite products to use for the holiday season, for Christmas season. So that includes like my top favorite red lipsticks and my top favorite single shadows. So I have three of each category, lipsticks and the eyeshadows. So I wanna go ahead and get into it, but I did wanna say that um, I apologize for not filming last week and uploading last week I was definitely very sick and I didn't sound too good to film so I might still sound sick and my nose is a little bit runny but I definitely feel a lot better than I did last week so that's awesome but that's the reason why I wasn't on YouTube last week if you follow me on Instagram actually you will know that I've been uploading every day for the month of December there um, I've been doing my 2015 favorites each day according to a list that was going around on Instagram. So I'll link my list my I'll link my Instagram is what I was gonna say. I'll link my Instagram uh, at the end of this video so you can go check that out. I would really appreciate it and would love your feed feedback and I love interacting with you guys out there. So definitely make sure to check out my 2015 favorites on my Instagram. Okay so let's get back to the video. I'm going to start with my eyeshadow favorites. Now, I'm a huge fan of ColourPop, so I'm going to start with them, and yeah. I have two ColourPop shadows. The first one I will talk about is called That Girl. It looks like that. I'll open it and show it to you, but that's the front of it. And there's the back. It's a super shock shadow, and it did come in a kit. I really do like the packaging, so I kept all of them in here. But anyway, this is the Blitzed. Super Shock Shadow Collection, and it came in this one. So this is again called That Girl, and it's like a green metallic, super metallic, kind of light green, like almost like a pewter color, but it's, I don't know how to describe it. It's so pretty. And I wore this all over the lid one day and at work, and I definitely got a lot of compliments wearing this actually every time I wear ColourPop shadows I tend to get compliments on my makeup so they are they just pack a lot of pigment and the shimmer but there's so much shimmer in it that that's why people tend to you can see the green there and then it kind of washes out over there but so yeah there's so much shimmer in this these shadows that a lot of people like point it out to me and they're like, oh my god, it looks so good. So definitely color ColourPop shadows are some of my favorite. The next shadow that um, also comes in this kit that I love is Valley Girl. And it's kind of like a golden silver. It's so pretty. And I wore these two together and that's when I got my compliment on. It looks really white in the pan but on your skin, it looks golden. It's so strange, but those two together actually look really, really nice together. So I definitely like wearing this as like a holiday look, these two together. So there's those two. And next we have the Urban Decay Last Call. Now, if you guys are familiar with my channel, you will know that this single shadow uh, is in my product 10 pan and I think I'm really really close to hitting pan on it. I have been wearing it quite a bit. Um, I've had this for a while. This is the old Urban Decay packaging so it's been out for a while. It might be limited edition. I'm not quite sure but look at that dent that I made in it. I don't know if you can quite see uh, that way you can tell but I'm just so proud of myself. I'm so close to hitting pan. This shadow is such a pretty burgundy color it blows any other burgundy shade out of the park. I just, I love that shade. It looks really good with Lorax Gold. If you put that all over your lid and then last call in your outer V, it looks phenomenal. I'll just show you Lorax Gold as well next to it so you can see. The two of them just make the best combo. Those 
combinations and shadows um, alone are just really amazing and I highly recommend uh, you checking any of those out. Um, now I don't know about the ColourPop shadows being individually available but I know they still have the kit available I'm pretty sure. Actually I'm not 100% positive on that. But yeah, those are my favorite single shadows and combinations to use. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Now I want to move on to my favorite red lip and one of them I am wearing today and I'm just gonna go ahead and start with that one. This one is called um, Divine Wine and it is from the Maybelline Matte Line. This is a super deep dark creamy red. It's the perfect holiday matte red if you're into a matte red for the holidays. It is just, it is unbelievable. It, these lipsticks are so creamy and they feel good on your lips. They sink into your lip line in a good way. They get rid of all your dryness on your lips because they are so creamy and they're just really, really nice. I love these. So I have Lust for Blush, I have Divine Wine, and I have um, Touch of Spice and they're all just amazing. I love them. There's no scent to them. This is a great one if you want to kind of vamp up your lip style. Actually all of them are because red lips are kind of hard to rock naturally in my opinion. That's why I don't have too many. But yeah, I love that formula. Next up is one from Bite Beauty, and this is also one of my favorite formulas. I've also gotten my mom into this formula, so this is the one in pomegranate, and this came in a kit last year, but I believe they still sell it uh, individually. This is definitely a brighter red lip, so if you're not into the dark vampy ones, then this one is for you. There you go, you can see the difference there. This one's definitely more brown undertones, and that one's more like orangey undertone. This formula also is amazing. Even though this is so moisturizing, it lasts for a really long time. Like I was at work and I took a 15 minute break after like three hours or something and it was still completely on my lips. I, I was so impressed and shocked with this formula that I love this one. And my other favorite from Bite Beauty is the rhubarb one that was such a pretty like berry purple color so those two so far are my favorite and uh, the most moisturizing one i would have to say is revlon's red velvet i need to pull this out more but this is what it looks like these are the lip butters by revlon and while this is like a lip butter it is still super pigmented this is one of the most pigmented lip butters there are at, in the Revlon line. So those three are definitely the ones that I'm going to be wearing uh, for the next 10 days. I'm gonna switch them out every now and then, but yeah, I really like these. I need to be wearing these a lot more. I do really like each of these lipsticks for a different reason, and they each are a little bit different. However, the red velvet is actually very similar to Divine Wine. Um, this one is the pomegranate one, but it's just a more glossier finish. So anyways, those are my top products for the Christmas season. And if you guys like this kind of idea, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, I do upload twice a week. And if you have any recommendations or requests for videos, please leave them down below. And I'm very happy to be back. So I will see you again um, another day during the week. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,